Pow Expert! Top 10 Musical Theater Tips Pow Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit HowExpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Musical Theater Tips. Number 10. Enroll in a basic acting class. Musical theater is based in three core disciplines, acting, singing, and dancing. A performer who understands these three basic principles is known as a triple threat. However, the ultimate goal of musical theater is storytelling. This requires performers to be able to tap into a wide range of emotions. A great musical theater performer is able to convey a message to the audience through their acting. Once you take an acting class, you'll be able to interpret scripts, songs, and choreography. Number 9. Find a voice teacher to take voice lessons with. Music and singing is a major component of musical theater. Every musical requires some level of solo and ensemble singing. It is important to have good vocal technique when you do musical theater in order to avoid often irreversible damage to your vocal cords. Professional performers perform up to eight shows per week and they need to be able to maintain their vocal health. A voice teacher will help you learn how to sing with proper technique and will help you be able to sing healthfully in any vocal style that a given musical may require. Number eight, take a dance class. The most common types of dances found in musicals are jazz, ballet, and tap. Recently, musicals have been incorporating contemporary styles, such as hip hop. If you've never stepped into a dance class before, the best beginner class to take is ballet. Ballet is the foundation for all other styles of dance and will help you develop proper body alignment. The movements used in ballet are the basis of the movements used in jazz and other musical theater dance styles. Tap requires a different set of skills than jazz or ballet, so it may be useful to also find a tap class. Number 7. Do your musical theater research. The best way to learn about musical theater is to go see a musical. When you see a live musical, you can see how the acting, singing, and dancing all comes together. When you see a musical, take note of characters you feel like you could see yourself playing. Also, take note of people that stand out to you in a positive way and ask yourself what makes them catch your eye. Those are the qualities you want to have when you perform in a musical. Additionally, it is important to know the history of musical theater. So watching as many musicals and movie musicals as you can will enable you to become a well-rounded and knowledgeable performer. Number six, create an audition book. An audition book is a collection of 10 to 12 songs that you choose, often with the help of a voice teacher that you can sing in an audition. The songs in your audition book should be songs that you love to sing, show off your personality, and show a wide range of vocal abilities. You will not sing all 12 for every audition, but having a repertoire of go-to songs will allow you to be prepared for every audition and increase your versatility. You should work on singing and acting for each song so you know them inside and out. Once you have a solid audition book, you will want to continually practice these songs so they are always fresh in your head and ready to go for any audition. If you are struggling to find repertoire, listen to as many Broadway cast albums as you can and write down any songs you like to sing and fit your voice. Number five, update your headshot and resume. Even though headshots can be expensive, it is important to invest in quality headshots with a professional photographer. At every audition, you will be required to hand in a headshot and resume. Once you leave the audition room, the casting directors rely on your headshot and resume to remember who you are and possibly cast you. It is crucial that your headshot is an accurate representation of what you look like. Bonus points if you can look expressive or show off your personality. It's best to use headshots with a solid color background and non-patterned clothing with colors that pop. In terms of your resume, you should show all your performing experience, including shows you've been in, roles you've played, and the theater companies you've performed with. 
Your resume should also show your training, including the teachers and institutions you've studied with. Most importantly, your resume needs to include your name and your contact information. Number four, identify your type. Type in musical theater refers to the term the industry uses to define whether or not you fit the personality and physicality of a specific character in musical theater. Knowing your type is useful because it can influence the repertoire you choose that will help casting directors see where you fit within a musical. An example of type is strong leading man versus comedic sidekick. Some ways you can figure out your type is to ask your friends and teachers what characters and celebrities you remind them of. Once you've compiled a list, you can find musicals with similar characters and figure out what shows you would fit best into. While type can be an important tool in branding yourself as a performer, don't let it define who you are or make you feel like you have to fit into a certain box. Feel free to try out for roles outside of your type because you never know what the director's vision is. Above all else, be yourself because at the end of the day, the casting panel just wants to know who you are and what you have to offer. Number three, audition for a musical. Once you have become comfortable with acting, singing, and dancing, you will be ready to put your skills to work. Get started by looking for auditions at community theaters in your local area. You can also look at free websites that advertise auditions, such as Playbill.com, or pay for a Backstage.com subscription and find out about auditions. At an audition, you may have to sing or dance or do both. The casting team that is running the audition will usually give you specific instructions about what type of song they want you to sing. If you have to dance at an audition, you will usually be assigned a specific group of auditioners to dance with. Then you will be taught a dance combination and perform it in small groups for the casting team. Make sure you read all of the directions given to you by the casting team before the audition and follow them to a T. Not following directions at an audition could make or break your chances of getting cast. Also, remember to be friendly to everyone around you at an audition, so you show that you are someone that is easy to work with. Number two, be prepared. In every aspect of musical theater, from auditions to rehearsals to performance, preparation is key. There is very little that you will be able to control about the audition process except how well you prepare. Being prepared will enable you to confidently walk into an audition and stay relaxed. When you get into rehearsals for a musical, you must learn your lines, music, and choreography. Rehearsals move at a fast pace and you need to be able to keep up with the new information being thrown at you, as well as retain it from rehearsal to rehearsal. Memorizing your lines beforehand is a great way to be prepared for rehearsals. Once you get to perform a musical, constantly practicing your lines, blocking, songs, and choreography will help you to lock it all in and be prepared for opening night. Number one, be punctual. As the industry saying goes, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're fired. Whether you are going to an audition, dance class, voice lesson, rehearsal, or performance, arriving early allows you to center yourself and have a fully present mind and heart before walking into the room. Musical theater requires emotional vulnerability and availability, so giving yourself that time to warm up and ground yourself will set you up for success. Another reason punctuality is important is because it will help you both get the job and keep it. The industry greatly values punctuality, and arriving to a rehearsal or audition early shows that you are reliable, dependable, and eager to dive into the work. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you. Have an amazing day and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.